This class is about how to use double object pronouns with commands. Doble objetos con mandatos. We've seen that sometimes direct and indirect objects can appear in the same sentence. For example, mamá compra el helado, that's your direct object, because you ask, she buys what? Para Ana. Ana would be your indirect object because she's receiving el helado, which is the direct object. And the question to find the indirect object is, mamá compra el helado for whom or to whom? Para Ana. That's your indirect object. With that in mind, we could also have a direct and an indirect object pronoun in the same sentence. That's what we saw before. Now remember, if you have both indirect and direct object in the same sentence, you always start with the indirect object pronoun. Okay? In this case, it could be like me lo or me la, me los, me las, te lo, te la, te los, te las. But remember, if you're using le or les in any form of direct object pronoun, lo, las, and las, lo, la, los, or las, you cannot say le lo or le la or le los or le las. You're going to change the le or the les to a se. Okay? So, again, if you have any form of le or les, combining with any form of lo, la, los or las, you substitute the le and the les for a se. So, how do we do with commands, if you have a command. Let's see. Well, we are going to follow the same rule we learned before. If it's an affirmative command, the double object is attached to the command. For example, let's say I'm talking to um, someone using the usted command, and I say, haga la cama para mí, make the bed for me. I can say, make it for me, okay? So, I start with my indirect object pronoun, me, use my command, haga me, and then I put my direct object pronoun, la, haga me la. And finally, I have to put an accent mark. Now, remember, we used to put accent marks on the third syllable from the end to the front. Now, because we have two extra syllables, we have to put on the fourth syllable. So let's count the vowels. Vowel one, two, three, four. This is the one that receives the accent mark. Now, if it's a negative command, we follow the same rule we learned before. The double object comes before the verb. It's like a sandwich between the verb and no. For example, no compre el coche para Marta y Juan. You're using our state command. So you say, don't buy it for them. So you go, no, se. Why se? Because I cannot have le here. Because I have a combination of le, lo, I change the le to a se. And then I have my direct object. No se lo compre. Let's see more examples. Let's see some more examples. Let's imagine uh, I am using the usted command. It's an affirmative command. So remember, if it's affirmative, you attach, you put the accent mark on the fourth syllable from the end to the front. So I say, prepare la carne para él. Prepare the meat for him. And I want to say, prepare it for him. So, prepare, that's my command in the usted form. I start my indirect and then my direct. And then I put my accent mark. One, two, three, four. Pablo y Pedro. Here I'm talking to two people, so I need to use the ustedes command. Corten el césped para mí. Cut the grass for me. Cut it for me. 
So, Corten, that's my command. Indirect object for me, then Lo, because you're talking about El Césped. And, need, and then I need to count my vowels. One, two, three, fourth one, you put the accent mark. Now, negative commands, you don't, you can't forget. In front. Señor, no escriba la carta a nosotros. Don't write the letter to us. Don't write it to us. No, nos, indirect, la, for la carta, escriba. So this is the sandwich one. Remember, the double object is between the verb and the no. Chicos, no compren dulces para ustedes. Kids, don't buy sweets for you. Don't buy them for you. No se, because I cannot say les, because I have a los here. Los compren. Well, I hope that was helpful. If you have questions, just ask me in class. Gracias.